Yes, finally, <laughs> it's here. The new merch is finally here. It's actually right on time. But you see, the thing is, is that I ordered these, I was trying to get this sorted a while ago, but there was a problem with the merch, with one of the other merch things that I have going on, and I wanted to release them at the same time. So even though I'd given myself a head start, I still, <laughs> they still only arrived just in time. So yes, the new Monroe, Jake Monroe t-shirts are now available on the website. If you are a member of this channel, or you're a member of the Patreon, you will be receiving discount codes. So check, check. Just check emails, check the community page on this on this channel, just check. You should have discount codes that will take a significant amount off of the price, I think about 25% actually. So this t-shirt design may not be based on my current look, there will be one coming eventually, but I used a look and I used a design that was probably one of my more recognizable looks, this, this particular look that's on the t-shirt. I love it. It's, it's kind of what I was known for for a little while before I switched over to this. And I'm super happy with the design, super pleased. It looks so cool. And whenever I first, like, mocked it up, I was like, man, that's so, like, aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> like, it looks so cool. I love the coloring. Now, because I am just one single freak, I will only have these t-shirts up on sale up until Thursday. So between today, which is Monday, and Thursday, let's say evening, Thursday afternoon, here, they'll be up on sale. So you can buy as many as you want between that time. But after Thursday, I'm taking them off. And here's why. Because these are made to order, but they're made very, very quickly. But on Thursday, I'm going to get everyone's orders together and send them off to my supplier. Which means he's going to order in the black t-shirts, do the prints over the weekend, and get them to me on Monday. And I'll start sending them off in the post on Monday, in exactly one week from the day this video was posted. So you have until Thursday to get your t-shirt ordered. I will be doing a giveaway at the end of the year sometime in December uh, for Christmas presents and stuff like that, or people who missed out on some of the previous designs. I will be doing giveaways for the previous designs as well. So yes, these are available now. Anyone who is a member of this channel, anyone who is a member of the Patreon of a certain tier and up, you get discount codes, which you can apply now. Also on the website, you'll also find this t-shirt that I'm wearing in this video. Yes, the exact t-shirt I'm wearing right now. The one that I'm touching. The one that's on me. <laughs> As you can imagine, it's a little more expensive, but that is to help the fluctuations in the shipping costs, because sometimes whenever I go down, the way people have ordered things, or the weights of t-shirts, or the size of t-shirts, the way I've packed it, whatever, sometimes shipping costs can be a little bit higher, so I do that just to make sure I can cover extra shipping costs without having to email you guys and say, you need to pay more shipping. So, that's why I do this. So this exact t-shirt is up on the website. And obviously there's only one, and it's an XL unisex. And it's, it smells like me. If you're wondering what this is, I didn't buy this, okay? J I need to say that before I explain what this is. This is a 200 quid vial of, I don't know what it's called, but me and Kai like to go into House of Frasier, which is like this designer store, and we like to go and have a look at the different fragrances, because we like fragrances, right? So I said, how much is like the, you know, the, the, the normal size one? And she said, it's 200 quid! It's 200 pounds! 250 dollars, I think. It's whatever the, is, is that. I nearly swallowed my tongue out of shock. And I was like, oh. <laughs> Anyway, I went down there again a few weeks ago because I just I like to smell it because it just smells so good. And she's like, you're here so often. Let me just give you like a little tester, which was obviously free. I don't have to pay for this. So she gave me this. So this is 200 quid cologne fragrance for men. It smells incredible. I can't remember what it is called. Killian? But I do know that this is called Black Phantom. And it smells absolutely amazing. And now... I wear it all the time, and now this t-shirt that is available on the website, that the one I'm actually wearing, now smells like it. So now you, you can smell what this smells like. The unisex t-shirts go up to like 5XL and start at a small, and the female t-shirts go up to a 2XL and start at an XS, an extra small. Chest sizes are on the website, so if you're not entirely sure what size t-shirt you want to get, because some sizes do vary, then make sure you check out the measurements and you can measure yourself, and you'll know exactly the right t-shirt for you. So obviously, being t-shirts, 
they're gonna have a certain price. And this certain price, not everyone can afford. But some people do wish that there was a way that they could get their hands on some merch or support the channel in some way. So, I have also provided just, this is the thing, okay, let, I will show you now. So this is the thing, this is the print. Can you see that? The light shining on it. There, you see? It's me. <laughs> So that super awesome photo that I love and you guys seem to really like as well in that uh, MSN video I did, uh, I managed to get that picture. I managed to blow it up using Photoshop. It's not the most high res image, but the grunginess sort of adds to it. Like it doesn't look too bad at all. Look at that, yeah. And the super cool thing is, these will be signed about here. Do you see? About here. So I'll be signing these. And there's 250 of them. <laughs> now, not only are the cost of these prints much lower than the t-shirts, but the price of shipping is also a lot lower as well. And they're most likely going to be, and I have these right now, so I'm gonna be sending these off much quicker than the t-shirts. Unless, of course, you're one of those awesomely amazing people who have done this in the past, who buy, <coughs> <coughs> who have bought a t-shirt and a print. In which case, to save on postage, for me, I will just put your print in the t-shirt parcel, wrap it neatly, and send it to you. Going on tour real soon. A heavy metal card playing. The link to the website is down below in the description, so make sure you click that. It'll take you directly to my page on the website, and you can add things to the basket, and you can check out using PayPal. What else do you guys need to know? Oh yes, I had a little conversation with my band, and I, I decided that it would be a damn shame not to release the album, regardless of hiatus. So, what I'm gonna do is, hopefully before the end of the year, if not January time, but hopefully before the end of the year, I'm going to be doing all the vocals for the new EP that we recorded, and that will be released to the general public. We will be on hiatus, which I guess we kind of have been, but with the, we were meant to be writing this album, as you guys know. But while I move country, which you guys can directly support and help me do by buying my merch, please. Because <laughs> moving is expensive. <laughs> what was the last thing I said? Anyway, while I'm moving, I can't record anything, and I'm, I'm going to be on hiatus until May, because May is the date where officially we're meant to be out of this house, which is fine because we spoke to the landlord about that, and we sort of agreed on that date, because we don't want to be in this house anymore, or this country, so. So yes, the hiatus will be at least for the first six months of 2020. After that, me and Kai will be settled in to wherever it is that we are, most likely where we're moving to, Barcelona. But we were talking about the idea of releasing the album, or the EP, hyping the crap out of it, and then playing a show, or doing a small tour, like a European tour at the end of 2020, you know, once it's had a whole year of hype, you know, but who knows, who knows what, you know, I could be ready to play shows by May, I have no idea. Basically, I have enlisted the help of a relocation company, which sort of helps, it's like a relocation service that helps expats and people settling into Barcelona. I'm talking to them right now, it may be a lot quicker than I thought it was, because in my head I'd sort of hyped it up. So I don't know how quick or how fast or how slow or how long things are going to take. Those are all synonyms, roughly meaning the same thing. So with their help, things can go swimmingly. <laughs> so yes, if you guys can or would like to, you don't have to, but if you, if you are thinking about purchasing merch to support your favorite YouTuber, it would be very much appreciated because all proceeds, the money will be going towards changing my life <laughs> because moving country is like a big deal. And that's also one of the reasons why, by the way, if you are of a certain tier on Patreon, if you're one of those uh, make it a great day Patreon tiers, uh, you get one of these for free. You don't have to bother buying this. You just get it for free. I'll be sending this to you December 1st. But yes, that's why I've decided to do these prints, not this one. This month it's this one. But I've decided to do these prints every month. So they'll always be available, and there'll be like a little thing on the screen that lets you know that these these are available and you, and you can get them. It'll be a different picture every month, every 30 days, 
So every 15th, I, I guess, now, because it's roughly, well, it's the 18th, but every halfway through the month, there'll be a new one of these. So yes, signed prints available all year round. They'll be changing per month. T-shirts every other month, because I can't be, I don't have a team to help me do this, so I can't be in a constant state of packing and sending. That'd be insane. But hopefully, after I move, I will, I will have a team help me do that. I'll have like my own little space, and then I can just like, open up in the morning and there'll just be boxes everywhere and people will come in and help me and it'll be like super official and fun and it'll be in a sunny place and do you know what I've been meaning to talk to you guys about something and I've been neglecting to talk about it because you know the whole year things have been very speculative and uncertain but the closer to the end of the year we get the closer to 2020 we get I am going to be moving to a super sunny happy beautiful amazing city with you know, beaches, and there's there's literally a place in the in Barcelona called the Gothic Quarter. Yes, this is truth, and I plan to live in it. But you know, I really liked vlogging. I really enjoyed vlogging because I was damn good at it, and I love the hustle. Why you got blue hair on you? What have you been doing? Look, you can't give me the silent treatment forever. Yes, I loved vlogging, and doing the freak vlogs was fun. You know, living in the in a cold, dreary, dark place, and a city skyline that you could literally paint using various shades of grey. Not the most inspirational place to live, nor really would you want to go out when it's this cold. It's cold as hell. Super cold, in fact. Nothing to explore, nothing to do, nowhere to go. So, going out, not really full of prospects. But, Moving, I'm gonna be going to a really awesome place like I already explained. And I'm gonna be doing like super exciting adventure goth stuff. And I understand that primarily the content on this channel is like sit down and chat and kind of stuff, you know, where I say witty things and comment on various topics of the day. Complaining about social media platforms, I understand and don't approve of. But moving to where I wanna to move to, Barcelona, it's just there's so many places to go, so many places to explore, and I'm gonna be learning how to drive by the time I'm out there. So, you know, the, the content on this channel might just be adventure goth stuff almost every day. And I, I just, I'm so excited, so I do wonder how that's gonna affect the channel. Like, I'm obviously gonna do, like, sit-down talky stuff, but I, I could do that at, like, some of the, the more exotic cafes they have, rather than just in my studio every day. So it's gonna be so fun. Uh, you know, I've already, like, I've thought, like, what would vlogging be like on my channel now? Because back when I was daily vlogging, I only had, like, 15,000 subscribers, if that. In fact, I was vlogging before I hit 10k. And I do wonder, with the size of the channel now, how would vlogging work? Like, what would be the success of it? How many people would watch it? Would it be appealing to all new people, you know, if they saw someone who looked like this vlogging? And I've spoken about this before. It's just now that it's looking like a reality, I'm sort of hyped about it again. So yes, thank you everyone for watching this video. Thank you everyone for checking out, at least checking out the website, because I know thousands of you flood the website, because I, I know you do. But if you at least look at the stuff, thank you. If you actually buy the stuff, super thank you! But if you, if you didn't even check it, and you, you just tune in to hear me talk and and be funny on camera then thanks actually thank you very much allow me to remind you to like the video if you don't want to buy any merch you don't have to i'm not mad i mean i'm a little bit mad but if you like the video i won't be so mad that's a lie i'll still be mad <laughs> i'm not i'm kidding i'm not mad seriously do not that's a joke i hate that i have to say that's a joke it's a joke seriously if you just watch the videos pl thank you so much merch is obviously not the only income this channel has, so just by watching, you're helping the channel, so thank you. Little update on the vocal cover of my Evanescence thing. Turns out I can't sing Evanescence stuff because Amy Lee's range, it just, it, it can't be sung by boys. It can't be, unless I'm just that bad. Unless I didn't like the sound of my voice. So, do you know that was probably what it was? Like, I could sing in tune and I could follow it, but when I listened to it back and I heard a man singing it, I wasn't like 100% sold on it. And, I don't know, I might just release it as it is. It's like, it's it's in tune, <laughs> at least. It's just, it sounds weird. I start, because I, okay, here's what happened. And I'll end the video real, real soon, uh, just after this. So here's what happened. So, I was at the rehearsal space, and at the rehearsal space I can practice vocals and I can sound as terrible as I want, right? While I try new things out, which I'm always doing. I'm always trying new things with my voice. And I decided to see if I can do a Jared Way impression like singing like Jared Way. 
because, you know, My Chemical Romance is coming back, and I was thinking about maybe doing a My Chemical Romance cover. Why do I do this? I do this. Why do I do this? So it turns out that I actually can do a good Jared Way impression. I can actually do a really good one. And I was like, I wonder if I can do a Chris Motionless impression, because a lot of people have been asking me to do Motionless and White. It turns out I can also do a pretty decent Chris Motionless impression. And then I started to do the Evanescence cover, and I sung a lot of it as a mixture of Chris Motionless and Jared Way, which I hated. I hated that it sounded it sounded good, but I hated that it sounded like that. I, I wanted to I wanted to sing it a little more neutrally, a little more like the way I sing. And I might just have to re-record it. I think that's what the case is. Or move on to another one. I do have other songs I can do vocal covers for. Anyway, thanks everyone for tuning in. Uh, it's been super fun talking to you guys again, doing a video with the liquid latex on, and the makeup, and just, just having a, looking at the viewfinder, just having a, a damn good old time doing videos. I like standing here. I like being a little more dynamic with, because I have more energy when I stand up. But, but over there, I have the nice microphone. I had a great day today because I made it a great day, and I will see you guys in the next video. Okay? Goodbye. <sighs>